Hi everyone, welcome along on this lovely sunny morning. Me and Mo ready to give you some little instruction on the next video. And this one concerns these type of radiator valves here with the drain valve attached. So the question was, can I drain my radiator with one of these by shutting this off and shutting the thermostatic valve the other end fully off? And yes, the answer is yes, <laughs> pleased to say. And I'll show you a reason why you can do that. I mean, you tend to think if you shut that off that it would also stop water coming through here. The pipe would come in the bottom and you still wouldn't be able to drain the radiator through the, ra the water through the radiator. But in actual fact, you can. I'll take this off and show you why that is. If I was to loosen this off, okay, so we'd take that out. Now, I'll shut the valve off as if it was off. So we're kind of pretending you shut the, the radiator valves off, both ends. Okay, so we're pretending that's now off. If I take this drain valve off the end, you'll see why it will still work. I'll take that off of there. Now, you should be able to see down into there fairly clearly. Now, if you notice, this doesn't have a normal jumper and washer on it because if you'd had one of those in there, it would stick. When you undone it, it would undoubtedly remain still there and wouldn't allow you to drain the radiator out. So with that off, this valve is now off, but you can still drain the radiator. I mean, if I initiate this valve being off by sticking my mouth through here, the air is coming out of the drain valve here. So that means water is off, but we can empty the radiator. Okay, so only thing to bear in mind, nothing much will come out of here until you open the bleed valve on top of the radiator. You need to let air in to allow water to come out. And it won't run all that fast. And obviously if there's any blockages of any silt or muck in there, then it will run even slower. And sometimes I've known these valves to be absolutely solid with mud, in which case it don't work <laughs> at all. But assuming your system has been cleaned regularly, it will run quite okay. So there we are, although the valve's shut, you can see it through there. You can blow it. And out comes the water. So there we are. So the answer to that question was, yes, you can drain your radiator with one of these. So when having one of these on your radiator is a handy thing to have if you don't mind how ugly it looks having a, a valve sticking out the end. And it doesn't get silted up and, but, yeah, and all sorts of other things. <laughs> so maybe a good idea for you, maybe not. I'll give you a link in case you want one anyway. Okay. So what is the point of that then if it may or may not be any good? Yeah, no, it should work, but if you didn't want to just drain the radiator, you want to drain the system down that whole side, if you open the valve up, once you've opened the valve, then you're draining the whole system down. So now you're not just draining the radiator, you're draining the whole leg of the central heating system out. So you can put a hose on there. And depending what leg of pipes this rad is connected to, this valve is on, it will drain down to that level. So if you had a system that was split, say, and you had one of these on one side of the house and then another one on the other side, you could actually drain just one side off that this was on and work on radiators at that end. And that's the idea that you could sort of drain down to radiator level rather than drain a lot of the rads out when it's on the return pipe near the boiler, the drain valve, the main one, which usually acts to drain the whole thing out. This, this allows you to, especially on a drop system where pipes come down the wall and feed a, a, a radiator, you could empty that side of the drop and that, that would not empty the whole system but just down to yeah, that that's radiator. clever isn't it yeah. another useful the main use for me but obviously you can use it to just drain the radiator out good huh that's about it though all my stuff you know where to go just leaves my oh, oh it's gone somewhere shady <laughs> my little friend decided to too uh, hot for i think a bit warm today yeah okay that's it i'll leave mo to say goodbye and uh See you next time. For our videos, Derrickson33, 